Welcome again. We are still in domain 1, and in this video, we will describe the difference between policies and standard procedures. Across our journey in learning CISA certification, we will encounter the term policy a lot. Think about the code of professional ethics that we just described or discussed in our last video as a policy for how ISAC organization want to see the holder to perform. Failure to comply with the code of ethics as we described or undiscussed will result in disciplinary action, same as what you can see in corporate policy in case of violation. Policy is a formal approved document, reflect management intention, define the acceptable behavior, speak in a high level with a simple language. Policy tells what is the right things, standard and procedures are tools that help the reader to understand the policy and do the right things in the right way. So policy comes first, then standard and procedures assist the reader or the audience of this policy to apply this policy in the right way. So let's have a deeper dive. So first about policy, policy is a document. It is a high level. It is a small document and reflect management intention. What we mean here but it, by it is a small document that we will not find a lot of details inside the policy. The document or the policy document should be signed with the highest management level available in the organization. Each policy statement should only have a one mandate, which should be written in clear and simple language. And differentiate here between when I say sh should and when I say shall. Should is a recommendation. So it is a recommendation that the policy, each statement or each clause inside the policy should mandate one requirement and should be written in a clear and simple way so the audience of the policy can understand it without any assistance. Policy document defines responsibility and support goals stated in the strategy. So policy need to comply or need to be aligned with the strategy of the business and this is a, a, a high level topic that we will discuss in the domain number two. Example for a policy statement when it comes to IT policy we may find this word policy or may find this clause. Policy must be strong and regularly change it. This is a valid statement or a valid mandate in the policy. And in this mandate, we find that password, password must be strong. So password must be strong and should be changed from time to time. But we, know, we don't have a details about what are the criteria of being strong and what are the duration and how much duration we need before changing existing password. So the above statement is unlikely to be changed for long term, but policy should be reviewed on yearly basis. So this requirement could be uh, communicated and described in what is called by a standard and we will see a little bit later what does a standard mean but you need to understand that policies need to be reviewed and communicated to audience you should have a policy in a place and if policy is not communicated if it not be approved it will uh, it will be not uh, usable and not feasible to uh, tell people about it or uh, uh, let's say uh, 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 ask people when they violate it. So policy need to be communicated and available on a shared location where the audience can reach it. And note that every policy should have exceptions and uh, not should have, but each, uh, every policy in general uh, could have a kind of exceptions and the exception of the policy should be approved by the approval of the policy. So this is a good point to mention. Standard, as, as we said, is uh, the kind or a tool that assists the policy audience to understand the requirement and implement the policy or the, do the right thing in a right way. So standard is a mid-level document. It, it defines requirements uh, to ensure uniform implementation that support policy goals. Standards provide basis of measurement and testing for evaluating if the baseline of the policy or requirement exists or not. For instance, standard in the policy uh, that could support the last statement is when we say that uh, the standard of a strong password is being uh, eight letters long, including upper and lower case uh, letters and include numbers and special characters. So this could be measured and should be could be assessed to define if uh, policy 
uh, or if the password is really complying with the policy. Standards could have many types like regulatory standard, organization or industry. Compliance with some uh, with standard is mandatory in case you need to achieve the policy goals. So as I said earlier, when we define the strong password requirement, you need to comply with this requirement to achieve the policy goals. Exa example for a standard is that when we say minimum password length is 8, contain upper and lower case special characters and must be changed every 60 days. The above statement is subject to change when you need a rise. So policy document is uh, more likely not be changed. Uh, it is a static document. It could be changed from time to time, uh, from year to a, not, not every year, but it can be changed every three or five years, of course, depending on the technology and depending on the requirement and depending on the strategic goals. But standard document is uh, and more changing because every year we may find we may have a deprecated technology we may f uh, have a technology that is no more used and no more exist so we uh, could have a, a change in the standard from year to year and the standards document is created by the system owner or uh, the owner of the controlling system that uh, or let's say the information security that defines the standard to comply with the policy the next uh, document is the procedures and the procedures is a step-by-step -step guide that implement the standard or show you how to implement the standard that support the policy at the end place so procedure document is a low level document provide how to guide it is very technical formulated by a process owner because the process owner is who are describing how to do the right thing that will implement the intent of the policy some people tend to describe the procedures as the spirit of the policy details are written in a step-by-step -step format from the very beginning to the very end procedure document need to be regularly reviewed and updated and subject to get completely changed if the process changed or the product changed so assuming now you are working on windows system if you change the system to a red hat system you will find uh, that you need to completely remove the current procedure and create another procedure document. Compliance with procedure is mandatory in case you need to comply with the standard and compliance with the standard is mandatory in case you need to comply with the policy. So it is all mandatory to be complied with. Example for a procedure is one you describe to a user how to change a password to a strong password. So it is a step-by-step -step guide. The last type for tools and documents that we can use and the auditor need to review or need to assess is the guidelines. But guidelines is not like the policy standard procedures. It is a discretionary or an optional document. It provides a recommendation and compliance with it is not mandatory. But it can be used in absence of clear standard and it provides insights for best practices. Example for guidelines, if we take talk an example for the, post, for the password, in the policy, we said that the password needs to be strong and regularly reviewed in a standard. We described what are the measurement of a good or a strong password, but you can do uh, or you can create a strong password that includes the requirement, but say uh, type a password like this way, A, B, C, A, capital, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at. Does this comply with the requirement? Indeed, it does comply with the requirement, but it is not a best practice. Example for the guideline when creating a strong password is to create password that it is easy to, rem to remember by the password owner and hard to be guessed by other users. Does not include your name, your pet, your car, and so on. Some of well-known guidelines that uh, describe or uh, that support and provide assistance in technology implementation is what is called the guidelines or CIS Center of Internet Exchange Guidelines. And CIS guidelines provi provide a clear uh, and detailed step-by-step -step instructions about the good guidelines or the good measures that you need to implement in your system. So that was all about policies, standards, procedures, and guidelines. We need just to 
identify the difference between policy and standard. Uh, policy identifies the problem, tell what action need to be performed. Standard specify what is required and set quantifiable measure that we can measure to ensure our compliance with the policy and procedures specify, specify what is required and outline the steps to complete an action. Guidelines is an optional and it provides additional recommendations. So that was all for this part. I hope it was very informative and I hope it was very clear. See you in the next video and don't please forget to like and share the video if you like it and consider being a member to our channel to support our content creation. Have a great day.